Now, if you looked at any of my previous videos, we've been putting together all the pieces for Community Independent Methodist Church. We went through our network. We have Wi-Fi. We got PTZs. We got how to control the PTZs. We have a video switcher set up. And now we are need to handle how are we going to get that signal to the TVs that are going throughout the building. And thankfully, this video is actually going to be sponsored and helped and supported by Ori by providing an awesome video distribution solution for this project. So let's go. So like I said, um, or I reached out to me and we have a partnership to where we're doing a lot of um, product reviews for them. And I let them know about uh, this project that we're doing and they offered and gave me the, let me look down so I actually know the name of it, is the UHD 48EX230K. Whew, that's a lot. Um, but this is a four by four. HDMI matrix, meaning that it can accept four inputs and go to four outputs. So this actually can act. If you looked at one of my previous videos um, where we were talking about the ATEM being set up for this project, it has a primary out the program and it has an aux out. So you have two independent outputs that you can do with anything that's connected to it. This device functions similarly. I can hook up four independent inputs into this and output it to the four displays that we hook up to up to 230 feet away. So one of the inputs is going to be the input for the ATEM. We also are going to use another input that's going to be for the stage display that's going to go to the TV, the 65-inch 4K TV that's going to be hanging for the pulpit and the choir. So instead of necessarily using the aux out from the ATEM, I can use this to do either one, or we can actually do a combination of both. We're just going to run the aux into this as input number two. And then input number one is going to be the primary ATEM, and we just program it. So let's cut over and let's see what's inside this thing. All right, we got our free warranty information. We got a little manual here. We have our receiver units, which are really tiny here. So that's HDMI out right there. We have DC power. We have the Ethernet cable that goes into this. We also have a micro USB, which is actually for um, service. We also have an IRN. So really tiny. Um, so and we actually looks like there's some mounting screws that you go here on the bottom so you can connect it to your display of choice. Me personally, I like putting the, some Velcro and sticking it onto the back of a TV, but it's your choice. You can mount it to the wall. We have a whole bunch of IR cables here. We have those mounts that we're talking about that you can screw into the bottom of the receiver. Some more IR. Have a nice little remote. We have a RS232 adapter there. And we actually got a serial cable for that, so that's cool. We have our plug here. It goes on the adapter. Another mount. And we actually got our, got our power cable. So let's go ahead and just put this together right now. All right. And then we have the actual unit. All right. So we have our on and off. We got our input. I mean, our output settings here. So you can press a button here to set which output is going. I mean, which input is going to which output. All right, we go to the side. We got some cooling fans here. Pretty cool. All right, and then on the rear here, we have our network in. We have our RS-232 connection right here. 
and we have all of our outputs right here with our IR outputs but then we also have our four inputs right here as well too. So you got to think this could be a good solution that you can maybe hook this up to a display. You can have one of these inputs being a direct link to like maybe a computer if you want to do presentations, but then you have another one to be like a video switcher. So you want, Hey, I want all the TVs at one point in time to display a slideshow or something, or even maybe in a funeral home. You want to have a slide of presentation going for all of the rooms, but then a given room, you want it to only show one thing. You can have it be different inputs. So the sky's the limit on what you can do with it. And then obviously we have our on and off button right here at the front. All right, so we got a bunch of these devices hooked up. I have my 4K TV right behind me. I have another 1080p TV that's on the floor right here hooked up. I also have an input into my switcher. And yeah, so we got three inputs going in. We also have um, three items connected to inputs. So let's go ahead and switch over to one of these so you can see exactly what's showing up. I have my PlayStation hooked up. So let's go to that right now. That's what's on all the monitors right now. So if I cut over here, you can see, and let me get my joystick here so that we can get connected here. So I'm pressing buttons right now. It's no major lag in any way, shape or form. Um, so if we you know, if I zoom out, you're seeing here right behind me and everything on here as well, too. Really straightforward. So let me cut over to the other camera here so you can see everything that's going on at the same time. All right. As you can see, we have all of these hooked up through the Aura right there. So if I go through and just tab through, you can see that everything is in sync. There's no latency between what's going on. So that's really cool. So let's go ahead and let's use a remote and let's go to input number two, or we can press buttons on the front. So I'm going to move over here so I can, cause I got it facing the other way. All right. So now I am connected to a PTZ camera that I have sitting right there. Um, really cool. So as you can see, no serious delay in any way shape or form so um really cool obviously i don't have a way to test out here um running a full extension up to 230 feet but this will give some options here this is really cool the other thing i did not mention which you may have noticed is this device is actually sending power over the ethernet cable as well to these little adapters. So you don't need to have an additional power outlet hooked up to whatever device it's sending the signal video audio, as well as sending power over that ethernet cable going to whatever you choose to use as a display output. I was actually using it also as an input into my video switcher. That's how you were able to see it, but really cool setup. It makes simplifying and doing some video distribution um, as another option. Now, like I said, you could use SDI cable, but you can actually get ethernet cable significantly cheaper than going with SDI cable. So this is a great option if you need to hook up and um, distribute a video signal to at least up to four monitors up to 230 feet away. And you also want to have four inputs at your choosing. So you can have four inputs and have each um, display have something completely different if you want to have a whole mixture of the whole thing. So that's it. Link is going to be down below. If you're interested in getting one of these again, big, big thank you to Aura. Thank you so much for um, providing this as well as helping with the project for the video distribution at Community Independent Methodist Church. If you like this type of content, I appreciate a like, consider subscribing and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. Thanks for watching folks. This is AJ. We will see you on the next video later.